And yung pong napapanood ng PDL Open Conference dito sa SNA. Nabang po, two cents to none. Water Defenders contra sa Lady Warriors. And we're taking a look at some of the highlights ng set number two. Ganadong ganado si Gretzel Soltones. Shishi Dadang tried to establish herself as well. Pero yung atake talaga. Pati yung setter na si Jasmine Abor na ikisali na rin sa opensa. At yan po ang isa sa mga kailan kung bakit na nakuha ng Water Defenders ang set na yun. Yung surf pa lang, Anton. Yun ang unang panlaban talaga ng ating Lady Warriors. Oh, sorry. Ang ating Water Defenders. Na natin ang mga numero. Ay, ayun na nga, Josh. Uh, Nakaapat ang uh, Water Itang Defenders. Kita. Yeah. Although sa attacks and blocks, medyo, uh, I mean, equal sila. Doon talaga nagkatalo sa ating service aces. Samantala, yung Lady Warriors, zero. Zero service aces. Whereas in the first set, nakaapat sila. So the overall tally, ang uh, Water Defenders, meron ng anim na service aces, merong apat ang Lady Warriors. Nabor to Malabanan! Wow! Jeremy Malabanan, lumevel up na talaga dito sa Premier Volleyball League. Talagang all around si Malabanan, mga hita monton. That was a quick hit. We thank everybody for watching right now our live coverage. This is the final match, the preliminary round, the Open Conference. Anton Rojas alongside Josh Villanueva. And of course, we have Gainal Krishnan at courtside. So look at uh, Myla Pablo. I want to ask you, Josh, uh, what? Ano, ano ba ang ginagawa ng water defenders at hindi masyadong... Uh, Bubuhos ng puntos so far itong si Myla. Well, for me, siguro medyo kumbaga, problematic pa si Myla sa ngayon eh. Kasi medyo behind sila ng ilang sets. And also, kumbaga, hindi nila masyado na-establish yung kanilang receive. Yung sa yung reception, hindi na pa. Kaya nahirapan din dali ni Giselle si sa kanya yung mga sets. And the blocking also, Anton, sorry. And also the blocking of the... Water defenders. Cool. All right, let's go back to Gainel Krishnan. Yeah? Well, Anton and Josh, during the pregame kanina, we have mentioned about the rematch of the water defenders versus the Lady Warriors. No ong reinforced conference, no ong finals. And alam mo kanina na ko ng ito si Elin kasi lagay to sabi niya nga sa akin na this is gonna be really an intense match for them dahil nga hindi nga daw talaga nagpapatalo ang water defenders. Alam mo, nung last game daw nila noon, nung reinforced conference pa talagang nahirapan din sila makuha yung panalo against the water defenders. And remember what I said a while ago, sinabi ni Jerry Lee Malaban na na this game is gonna be really intense dahil nga daw hindi daw talaga sila papayag na hindi, nila maka, hindi sila makakuha ng spot sa semis. And of course, uh, as you can see right now, talagang uh, pinapakita nila Jerry Lee Malabanan ang kanilang uh, kuponan ay talagang lalaban para makakuha ng spot sa semifinal. So back to you, Anton and Josh. Maraming salamat, God. At tunay na nagpapakita ng lakas itong si Jerry Lee Malabanan. Sayang naman kasi, di ba? Uh -huh. Sa Green Force Conference, nakarating ka sa finals, yeah. tapos biglang na uh, hindi ka makakapasok sa semis, sa susunod ng conference. So, there's that pride dito sa kubra ni Coach Roger Guraya. Kumbaga, andun na andun eh. Ba't pa nila bibitawan? And right now, they're in a good spot. Dahil lamang sila, two sets, could not contra sa Lady Warriors. So, Torres! Ooh! Good blocking by Ginoo and De Leon there. This is... Great timing from De Leon. Kanina pa siya, Josh. Yeah, ha? tama. Kanina pa, Anton. Kanina pa nakamulak ko si, si Jesse. Mal, mal, uh, either quick or either kumaga yung mga outside spikes. Abor. Back set for Urtas. Jesse De Leon. Soltones. Dalawa talaga. Nakabantay dito kay Gretzel. Six to two. Hirap, hirap you know. tumawit. Yeah. Yeah. Gino and uh, De Leon, Josh, naka, nakabantay dito kay Soltones. So, Coach Roger is digging deep. Pinasok na niya si Macy Mendiola at si Abigail Noval. Sabi niya siguro, pagpahingin ko muna si Gretzel. <laughs> Gino, 
but Tony was there. Nabor, Urdas, great dig by C. Pablo, cut shot, Nabor. Back to Noval, and Abigail Noval. Noval scores. Ayan okay, po, nagpapakilala itong si Abigail Noval. Yun yung masarap sa mga coaches, eh. Um, at ito na makita mo yung mga pinapasok mo na bench players, nagdi-deliver. Kasi nakita natin, ilang beses na rin yan na-block si Sol Tones sa simula ng set na ito. So, Coach Roger trying to do something different. Seven. Now, if you're the water defenders, Josh, bawal maging kampante. Tama. Kahit na lamang ka ng two sets, you still have to give it your all mm -hmm. sa third set. Kasi mali mo, di ba? Makakaboy pa ang kalaban. Mm -hmm. Then I'm sure, Josh, uh, you, you've experienced that. It, it, it's something that you had to learn to deal with. Uh, yung, yung complacency, and maybe we can talk about that later on. Pero sa ngayon, timeout muna tayo. The Lady Warriors lead. The Water Defenders in set number three, eight to three. Ito yung pong napapanood ang laban sa pagitan ng Lady Warriors at ng Water Defenders. Live, happening right now at the Phil Oil Flying B Center. This is the final match, the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. At Ton Ross together with three-time UAP champion Josh Villanueva joining us for the first time sa ating TV broadcast. And of course, Daniel Krishnan at courtside. Now, Josh, we were talking about uh, complacency, and, and that is something that the water defenders are dealing with right now. Kasi nga, nakalamang sila ng palaki, and um, they have to find that killer instinct. How do you avoid being complacent when you establish a big team? Well, Anthony, nga, coach would always coach O will always would always remind us na kumbaga yung complacency dapat hindi yan nangyayari kasi kumbaga kahit nalaman ka ng ilang sets kailangan buhos all out pa rin eh pag nating sa ibang sets and yun nga that's why we train every day that's why we would train every day in order for us to become better kumbaga we don't we don't stop sa isang run lang kumbaga we have to always keep on going and that's what we should bring sa game so we were talking about the battle of the rivals earlier. May isang fan na na nagtanong kay Melissa. And uh, yun ang gusto na mangyari ng uh, Lady Warriors dito, yung comeback. Kasi uh, hindi natatapos ang isang laro hanggat na uh, makuha ng isang kubunan ang uh, tatlong sets. Alright, so balikan natin ang mga mga manunod who are very active pagdating sa social media. Si Kel. Kel 69. Go Bali Pure Water Defenders. Kaya niya yan. Laban niya. Just watch it all the way from Olongapo City. And also from Romeo Susarno. Really enjoyed watching the Water Defenders versus the Lady Warriors. Ang lutong ng mga paluan. Only in PVL. And minention niya rin ako. Yes, at grabe yung outfit. Bagay na bagay pagdating sa beach. Ito, speaking of beach, buhang nasa beach, ito si King Double A. Ito talaga ang dahilan kung bakit nag-early out ako sa work. Go Bali Pure, go Sato, my loves. And hello to us, Josh. Hello. Yeah, so thank you, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you for, for watching the PVL. Josh Villanueva joining us for the very first time sa ating TV broadcast. Josh, uh, how is the experience so far? Kamusta naman ang experience joining us dito? sa TV panel. Well, ito naman, Anton. Masaya naman. Kasi before I've done this naman, although live stream, but yun nga, it's my first time to do a TV game. And hopefully naman, medyo okay naman. Did, did you expect uh, that, you know, you would be trying your hand with, with, with the broadcast after uh, or, or during your playing career? Actually, hindi ko naisip yun, Anton. <laughs> yeah. Wala, wala sa, kumbaga, hindi ko never ko naging idea is yung mga pag-broadcast ng mga games. Eh, yun nga, eventually, nakita ko na kaya naman. So, yun. Yeah. But, uh, ibang klaseng appreciation yeah. din sa game ng volleyball na uh, ating na-experience yeah. as, as a broadcaster. Kasi, yun nga, before, ako yung naglalaro ngayon. Yes. Ako yung yung mismo nakakita ng laro. Okay. And it's just a matter of putting, siguro, putting into words yung mga nakikita ko. And uh, we're very lucky that, you know, we have somebody with your experience sharing us, sharing with us your knowledge about the game at tapla na tayo 
kanina, lumamang ng malaki ang Lady Warriors and Coach uh, De Guzman, Coach De Goy is, is not happy with, with the effort of the Lady Warriors. But this is not a championship effort. Well, we knew that coming into this match, gutom, gutom itong uh, water defenders na manalo. Did they really need that spot, Anton? Eleven all. Sina Jen Cayuna, Sina Alaysa Eroa, Edson Sontones, Heather Dino, sorry, Jarell Singh. Back set para kay Kasilag. Yo, Kasilag has been quiet in this yeah. match, Josh. Actually, kanina ko pa siya napapansin na medyo... She's not part of the picture sa ngayon. Yeah. Pero yun ang feeling kong ginagawa ngayon ng Giselle C. Is to uh, buhay na itong si Kasilag. Sapagkat kailangan, ta kailangan na talaga yeah. uh, itong uh, high-flying antics ni E.K. Elaine Kasilag. C. Back set. Para dito, kay Heather Ginoo. And after the rest, Duval steps back out. So Thomas comes back in. Let's see kung nakatulong yung uh, pagpapahinga ni Sultones. Oh, Panaga attacks her right away from the service line, Josh. Makikita natin lumalamang na ngayon ang ng ating Lady Warriors. Sila naman, sabi nila, kami naman ang mag-serve ngayon. Josh, when you're at the service line, um, how do you make a selection as to who you're going to attack, who, who you're going to direct that serve to? Actually, nagiging guide namin si Coach Oliver. Eh. Before okay. we serve, meditate for a while. Or let's say, before meditating, titingin kami muna kay Coach Owe. Eh. And then sasabihin niya kung saan dami tadalihan. So, so meron kayong mga secret, um, yung mga senyas. Yeah, as in like a short, uh, kumbaga, konting senyas lang. Uh, doon banda, dito banda. Yeah. Yeah. Abor. Urdas. Gino. Pantone. Abor. To Sato. Overreceive. Sultones. Malabanan from the back row. Pablo was there. Si, binigay kay Casilag. Pantone again. Nabor. Soltones. Si, Casilag. Another long rally. Oh! Heather Ginoa trying to end it. Tuloy pa rin. Regalo para kay De Leon. And Jesse De Leon. She has been the impact player yep. para sa Lady Warriors. Lady Warriors. Trying to stay alive, they lead the Water Defenders, 16 to 11. Oh, kanina, <laughs> akala ko ba, like si spin, like si spin ng disc itong sina DJ Tronics and DJ Jams. Now they're just chilling. <laughs> Napagod na ata. Sabi, <laughs> nod muna kami. <laughs> Hindi, pero tuloy-tuloy pa rin naman yung sounds, ah. Ano, ano ba yan? May remote ba silang hawak dyan? <laughs> Sinaksak na lang ato yung iPhone nila or what, eh. <laughs> Ayan pa aming mga kasama. Uh, DJ Jams and DJ Tronics. Pumping up everybody here inside the Phil Earth Flying View Center. As Sato gets that quick attack to go. Ibang iba talaga yung connection ni Jasmine at ni Risa Anton. Osaka, si, si Sato. Fighting well with her teammates. And yun 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 to talking about the uh, perfect connection. Mahita natin na sa setting, lamang na lamang si Nabor dito kay Giselle C. With 28 excellent sets. That's why so many people are impressed with this young lady, Jasmine Nabor. And really, Really getting everybody involved. Kay, kay Urdas naman binigay ang bola. Kasilag. Oh! Mendiola! Impact points. 
para dito sa Water Defenders. Let's take a look at it one more time. Macy Mendiola, great timing. Talagang hindi uli. Uh oh. Position. Positional fault here. Coach Rico. Si. Oh, De Leon on the quick attack. Urdas. And there's that blocking again from Ginoo and De Leon. Pag sila'y nagtatabi yan to, Nino, talaga nakaka-block sila eh. Tsaka laging sa spot na yan. Yep. Sarado eh. Bill Cayetano is back on the floor for the Lady Warriors. Soltones soars in for the kill. Not this time, sabi ni Gretzel. Soaring and scoring for the Water Defenders. Gretzel Soltones. See, tossing it up to Myla Pablo. De Leon. Nothing there. Soltones now. Dug up by Gohing. See, back to Myla Pablo. Mendiola's doing a good job checking Pablo. Gohing. Binalik dito kay Pablo. That's her third spike already. Still can't get the point. And see, Aiko Ordaz able to finish that rally. Kanina pa ito mga long rally sa game ko. Talaga makikita mo talaga match na match ang ating team. I'm sure you've experienced many long rallies in your volleyball career, Josh. At what point, nangyari na ba na parang hindi na gumagana yung utak mo sa sobrang pagod, sa sobrang haba ng rally? How do you maintain that focus? Well, yun nga, Anton, We're conditioned enough naman na in order to kumbaga, withstand yung mga ganong klaseng rallies. So, so siguro it, will, it, will, it, will, it wouldn't be a problem for us naman. But, but basically, after the point naman talaga, hingalo talaga. Dun, so, so, yeah. So, it really, uh, it really boils down, I guess, to yung conditioning yep. para pagdating sa naro in case pagkaroon ng long rally, hindi nawawala yung focus. So, Tones, meanwhile, Starting to heat up again at isa na lang ang labang ng Lady Warriors. Cayetano receives that one. Go ahead. The board. Cayetano pops it up. Serafica binigay dito kay Pablo. Antone. Nice pass. To Jeremy Malabana. Perfect. Sakto yung uh, pagbigyan ni Pantone kay Malabana. Yung talagang yun nga, talagang init na init talaga to si Malabana. Eh. Kanina pa eh, mapaset ng kanyang setter or ng libero, napapatay niya eh. Serafica, tossing it up to De Leon for that quick attack. Here's Paran, Pantone was there. Nabor to Malabana. Mendiola. Oh, Myla Pablo! Nayanig ang depensa. And uh, Myla, of course, uh, walang personalan, narulang. I'm sorry naman siya. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll see, looking on, along with Kai and Shishi. Malabana gives up a free ball. Serafica, Myla Pablo, umatras, pumalo, nabor, malabanan na naman. Panaga is back on the floor. Serafica, tossing it up, Pablo. Here's nabor. Jeremy Malabanan breaks down the wall. What a match, Josh. 19-0. Hindi nakakala natin magpo-pull away na ito ang Lady Warriors. Umabul eh. <laughs> Talagang sinatsaga bawat ano eh. Bawat rally. Gohing. Serafica. 
Myla Pablo flying in, but our officials are trying to figure out if that was in or not. It goes wide. Na unahan na ng water defenders and Lady Warriors dito. Wow. Let's see if they'll close this in three sets. The water defenders have only won once in straight sets. That was against UP back in July 8. So, hirap makakuha ng straight sets victory ang water defenders. But if they're able to do that today, malaking confidence boost yun papasok sa semis. Again, at stake para sa water defenders is a chance to play the cool smashers na nagtapos bilang number one seed, Jeremy Malabana. Showing us some added power sa kanyang spiking. And ito makikita natin ito yung decision making ni Justin Namor. Na talaga, doon niya binibigay kay Jerry Lee lahat. Kasi she knows that uh, Jerry Lee will deliver. It's Roger Greb showing a lot of trust in Malabana. And Nabor bringing out the best in her. And look at this. 22-20 na ang ating talaan. At napatime out si Coach De Guzman. Lady Warriors. Ay, alam nyo na yung chance ball. Bira mangyari yan eh. Ba't hindi nyo mapagandaan? Maparating sa setter. Pinapairapan nyo yung sarili nyo eh. Imbis na chance ball. Automatic maganda, makakakombinasyon tayo. Bakit ganun pa rin, tignan natin kung saan sa pupunta yung bola. Sige na, mag-isip kayo kung paano tayo makakakuha tayo ng kombinasyon. Saan kayo kukuha ng first ball niyan? Bihira na mangyari ang first ball, ang chance ball. Bakit hindi nyo pa mag uh, mapaganda? Sige na, first ball lang. Pati yung uh, chance ball, pinoint out ni Coach yep. De Guzman na uh, pati yung chance ball, hindi nila mabigay na maayos. So, so that's really a, a big problem para sa Lady Warriors. It's, it's not like the Lady Warriors to play like this. Kasilag. Pantone, the board, quick attack for Sato, and Jeanette Panaga was there, she was ready, but that ball went straight to the net. Oh nga pala, magpa-birthday na itong si Pants tomorrow. Wow. So, nakikilaan niyo. Kung gusto niya, may masaya. And here's Panaga, going, sending it back, Pantone. The board, binigay kay Malabanan. Pablo. Kasila. Ooh! Hindi naabutan. Kasila na ata si Basilo. And also si Kasila. Napakataas kasi ng ball eh. 23-21. Water defenders hoping to barge in to the semis. Oh! That could be costly right there. Kaya napatawa si Coach Roger Gureyev. So dear, yet so far. So proud to Jerry Lee. Going way too much. The bar. Soltones and Gretzel Soltones goes cross court to put the water defenders at match point. Soltones soaring and scoring for the kill. Maganon, ha? Oh, eh, sige. Wala lang, okay lang yan. Hawakan natin yun. Uh, service sila, first ball ulit natin. Tapos magandang atake. Ha? Pagbalik, bawi tayo sa block. Coverage lang pag tayo ang atake. Ha? Huwag na lang itapon yung first ball natin. Set mo sa kanya. Ito yung goal lang tayo. Ito yung goal lang tayo.
Ayan, huling uh, paalala mula kay Coach Roger Gureyev as uh, he hopes that this will be the final yep. rally for the water defenders. In order for them to make sure na makapasok na dito sa ating final four. Ooh! Nako po. Hindi pa tapos to. Unexpected. A glimmer of hope for the Lady Warriors. And for the Perla Spikers. <laughs> yes, let's not forget. Thank yeah. you for reminding me. Soltones. Si. Binigay dito kay Pablo. That one goes long. And the Water Defenders are into the semifinals of the Open Conference of the Premier Volleyball League. So, buo na po ang ating semifinals cast. Let's take a look at this final hit from Myla Pablo. Too strong. It goes out. Kaya naman, pasok na po ang Water Defenders sa susunod na bahagi ng ating PBL Open Conference. At nakaabang ang kumpunan ng uh, coach mo, Coach Oliver Almado, and of course, Coach Ty Bundit. 7-0 uh, after beating the Perla Spikers in the first match. Ito po ang final tally ng ating uh, huling laban sa preliminaries. 25-21, 25-16, 25 para sa Water Defenders as they stun the Lady Warriors here today. Ang uh, Lady Warriors naman, Josh, sino ba makakalaban? Well, makita nga natin yan, Tony, uh, the Latin Lady Warriors will go up against the Lady Jet Spikers Your... uh, sa ating number two and number three spot. Alright, so that is our uh, final four pairing. Uh, dito po nagtatapos ang ating huling laban sa preliminary round ng PVL Open Conference. Nagwagi ang Water Defenders kontra sa Lady Warriors, 25-21, 25-16, 25-23. So, that means buo na ang ating final forecast, Josh. Tama, Anton. Makita nga natin na ang ating Lady Warriors will go up against the Lady Jet, Sp Lady Jet Spikers. And yun nga, like what you said, yun ating Cool Smashers against ang ating Water Defenders. Okay, and our best player of the game is brought to you by Rebisco, making delightful moments possible anytime, anywhere. Let's go to Gaino Krishna. Well, Anton and Josh, kasama ko nga ang ating best player of the game, Jerry Lee Malabana. So, Jer, now that you guys are in the semifinals, ano ba ang magiging mindset ng Valley Pure? Um, I think our mindset will still be every game is going to be a must win from now on. And then we have to focus on staying consistent on our service, receive, and our serving and defense. All right, congratulations. Do you have anyone to meet? Uh, hi to my mom in California and all of my family members in weather and to the FU Tambay and everybody at FU, my teammates. Hi. Hi, FU. Back to you, Anton and Josh. Siyempre, <laughs> maski naglalaro na si Jerry Lee dito sa Water Defenders, hindi pa rin niya nakalimutan yep. ng kanyang kupuran ang uh, mga nasa Tambayan ngayon. Tambayan ang FU Lady Tamarao. So, Josh, let's uh, take a look at our semi-finals uh, picture. Ito ang ating final standings at the end of the preliminaries. Kumayitin natin ito ng ating apat na nasa taas. They will move on to the semi-finals. Yeah. And with those below, it's gonna be the end of the line for them. So our uh, format sa semi-finals, it's uh, best of three. Yep. At magsisimula po yan sa darating na Merkules. Again, it's going to be the number one, the Cool Smashers against the number four, Water Defenders. And also, number two, Lady Warriors, and against number three, Lady Jet Spikers. All right, uh, I, I will correct myself. Sa Sabado pa po, uh, ang uh, semifinals. So, let's let's take a look at the, the updated uh, schedule here. Ayan po. Uh, my apologies. I, I would like to stress, August 5, Sabado po, magsisumula ang ating uh, semifinals. Cool Smashers versus the Water Defenders, number one versus number four. And uh, of course, uh, yung isa pang uh, semifinals pairing na binanggit mo, Josh. Ang ating Lady Warriors, which is at the number 
Uh, which had the second spot against the Lady Jet Spikers, currently number three. Yeah. So yeah, very uh, very exciting second part ng ating uh, open conference. At sigurado tayo, Josh, na mas uh, magiging matindi pa ang mga laban Mama. natin dito sa PVL. So kamusta naman ang experience, Josh? Your first ever yep. stint as a uh, an analyst dito sa oh, TV panel. Yeah. Okay naman ito. I hope na makabalik ulit ako. And at that time naman, mas, kumbaga, mas, mas relaxed na ako, mas confident na ako. Yeah. Alright, Josh, you did, you did a great job and we're very Thanks, thankful Anton. that uh, you shared with us your knowledge about the game dito sa broadcast natin dito sa Premier Volleyball League. Kaya sa ngalan po ng lahat ng mga bumubo ng ABS-CBN Sports, our executive producer, Ms. Malu Neri, of course, our director, Abbott Ramos, our panel director, Mickey Mirabueno, Panel at large, Gainel Krishnan, my partner Josh Villanueva, and everybody from ABS-CBN Sports, ako po si Anton Roas, nagpapasalamat sa inyong panonood ng PVL. Josh, baka meron ka pang babatiin. Well, yun yeah, I would like to greet my dad dyan sa Nevada, sa mga tao sa bahay namin sa Fairview, and uh, Coach Oliver, sa family niya, sa Las Vegas, and, Hi, and also sa Bahia family, and sa mga friends ko, sila Rod, sila Ate Abby, and yun, sa mga teammates ko. Hi guys. All right, thank you very much, everybody, and we'll see you all again on Saturday for the semifinals ng Premier Volleyball League Open Conference dito lang sa S&A.